MK9 was awesome. I really liked it. At the time, it was a joke, right? But in hindsight, you know, those were good times. I really uh, enjoyed those times. Do you know that game had no trading hits? Did you guys know that? MK9 had no such thing as trading hits. If two attacks collide at the exact same time, first player wins in that game. First player wins in that game. Is that fucking retarded? The answer is yes, it's retarded. But still, that game was really fun. <laughs> Yeah, there's footage of myself in MK9. I think there's a match. I don't know. Yeah, there is. I would imagine, right? I'm not even kidding. That's the rule. First player gets it. No trading hits allowed. Also, you know what that means, right? No double KOs. No double KOs. Oh yeah, I beat Tom Brady in that game at EVO. That was the first time I ever fought Tom Brady. And I've only fought him twice. The other time he beat me, it was in MK10. That was when he'd been playing the game for ages. And fucking... It was at Northwest Majors. North-South Majors. Oh no. Be cool. Oh, I like that he hits the slime guys. That's good shit. I don't like that they hit me though. Oh my god, don't do that. Oh shit. I'm glad these slime guys don't do a lot of damage. Alright. Alright, so now I just gotta switch out. Oh, I still don't have it? Anyway. Oh yeah, Deathstroke. Dude, the Deathstroke story was so much better than the MK9 thing. Because in MK9, you know it was very similar. Nobody thought Smoke was that good at first. But in, it, in, in Just Ass, man, people were saying that fucking Deathstroke is terrible. He's so bad. It's just gimmicks. You know, he's not good. People just need to learn how to beat him. And he was so good. They just didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. He was so cheap. Even after they nerfed him, he was good. But before they nerfed him, oh my god, it was crazy. He was super good. But all these East Coast East Coast guys were like claiming, you know, all you gotta do is just jump over the guns or whatever the fuck their dumb strats were. But I kept always saying, you know, how are you gonna jump over the guns? You can't jump over the guns because you can't see them. So you have to jump. And if the Deathstroke player is not an idiot, he's gonna wait for you to jump and then he's gonna jump and shoot you in the air. He had air guns. So all you had to do with Deathstroke, if you watch my old Deathstroke matches, all you had to do is just stand across the room and then shoot him, right? And then eventually they're gonna be like, all right, I think he's gonna shoot me now. And then they'll jump, and then you jump, and then you shoot him. I mean, it was the fucking best. These NRS players used to get so pissed off. It was awesome. It was fucking sweet. It was so sweet. I remember I ran into... Uh, okay, so... Wednesday Night Fights was real popping at this time. And I won three of them in a row, right? So three Wednesday Night Fights in a row, I was dominating with Deathstroke, right? And I ran into Chef and Crazy Bone and all these other guys. And they didn't know that I was like around the corner. We were at the gas station nearby Super. They didn't know I was around the corner and they were talking about me, right? They're like, dude, what do we do? Blah, 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 Deathstroke, you gotta learn the matchup, whatever, right? And then I like, <laughs> I like snuck up behind them 
in their rear. You know, I was like, hey, what's up, guys? And they're like, oh, got spooked. I'm totally exaggerating the story, but it was basically like that. They were like, oh, hey, what's up, Aries? And then they were like, stop beating us. It was perfect. I was fucking gobbling my own. Stop beating us. That was Wonder Chef. Good times. Man, I always loved beating NRS players. It was my favorite fucking thing. That was my favorite chef stroke. But me. And slips. <laughs> slips believe. I distinctly remember him saying those exact words. Please stop beating us. That was Wonder Chef. Good times. Man, I always loved beating NRS players. It was my favorite fucking thing. That was my favorite shit about Mortal Kombat. Because, you know, Mortal Kombat has these players that only play Mortal Kombat. You know? And historically, I've always been like a... I frowned upon that. I think you should play everything. Right? But, uh, yeah, there's these Mortal Kombat players. And, oh yeah, that reminds me. Online Tony. He was my arch nemesis in that game. Man, he played Cabal, and he did that cheap shit. The run, stop, infinite stuff. I had to fight against that guy. You know, I got pretty decent against Cabal towards the end. That shit was cheap. But I didn't play that game for very long. I, only, I didn't even play Mortal Kombat 9 until the DLCs came out. I quit after the first EVO. I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to beat NRS players up, and in the process of just wanting to beat up NRS players, I ended up kind of liking Mortal Kombat, you know, accidentally. I used to talk shit about Mortal Kombat so much, and I still do, but I used to talk shit about it in a way where it was like, this game is trash, you know, but, you know, I ended up liking it. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure. <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. NRS games have this bad tendency of kind of deflating after the first Evo. I don't say, I don't think they die, but they definitely are less. Uh, prestigious after the first evo seems like everyone stops caring i'm not sure exactly what the reason is for that They patch constantly and it's still never balanced. Well, <clears throat> I don't know if they patch it to balance it. That's something that you guys got to remember. Uh, something you guys have to remember about patching is that everyone thinks that they're balance patches, right? And they're balance patches by definition. But that doesn't mean that they necessarily want the game to be balanced. They're altering the balance of the game, but they're... You guys always assume that they want the game to be balanced. And that's not necessarily the case. Hey, what's up, tits? The, the, the actual fact of the matter is, when they change something, it's just because that's what they want. I mean, it's their vision, right? This is my character. I designed this character from the ground up. And I think this is how it should work. Whether or not it's balanced or you agree, it doesn't matter. You know? So, I think people forget that. And it's something you don't want to forget. Because you'll get real butt hurt, right? But I mean, dude, it's Paolo Garcia's game. If he wants to fucking make some shit real cheap, he will. Horace the Hushed? 